Happy New Month, brothers and sisters from St. Mary's Kabete. My name is Samuel Chege, and I'm so happy to share with you this morning a message to encourage you in this new month during the challenges that we are facing as a world, but knowing that God is still on the throne. One of the most encouraging Bible verses that I have read and I enjoy to read is Psalm 30, verse 5. The Bible says, For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Brothers and sisters, no matter how long a problem has gone on for, no matter how difficult a challenge and a problem may appear, one thing is certain, that this problem will not last forever. Even this will pass. Whatever you are going through today is a temporary situation. There's nothing permanent. Everything has an expiry date. That problem will only last for the night season. But a new season is coming. Let's talk briefly about the night season, shall we? In our journey of life, we go through different seasons. And everyone at some point goes through a night season and a morning season. As we see from Psalm 30 verse 5, the night season is a period of weeping. You weep because you may be going through a time of loss. As we see Job in six, Job 16 verse 16, Job says, My face is red with weeping. Dark shadows ring my eyes. Job's night season was a particularly distressing one because he lost everything. His children, his house, his servants, his business, his health, virtually everything that meant something to him, he lost. It was a truly dark night. Like Job, the world is going through a night season, isn't it? And as a result of the COVID-19 virus pandemic, a lot of families are going through weeping, mourning, lost, losing a loved one. Perhaps some of them are sick. It is being referred to as the worst worldwide disaster since World War II. So far, as of this morning, 856, 917 people are infected. 42,107 of them have lost their lives. This is truly a night season for the world. In our nation, everyone is feeling the pinch of the pandemic, and especially our most vulnerable families. Our populations that survive from day to day, from week to week, Wages are no longer available because companies have shut down. They have sent workers home. Businesses are at a standstill. Tourism has shut down. Travel industry, hoteling industry, weather um, um, in the coast or in the city. Traveling industry, the airlines are closing down. The road, the sea, everything is at a standstill. The economy is hurting. And yet it seems that for us, as Kenyans, the night is just beginning. So far, the country has reported 59 infected. And yet, as the night progresses, our professionals and the government are telling us the figure is likely to rise considerably. For the first time in the history of our country, houses of worship have shut down. We are certainly in a night season, folks. Now, Job 42 verse 10 tells us, The Lord restored Job's fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. Even for Job, the night did not last forever. Even though weeping endured for the night, Job's morning came, brothers and sisters. Even our morning is coming. A time for joy and comfort is coming. We do not have to wallow in depression and darkness. The Lord has seen to it that our joy will come in the morning. When the world is going through 
uh, what the world is going through could be interpreted as the judgment of the Lord. Indeed, the anger of the Lord in an increasingly secular world that purports not to need him, that purports not to believe in him. The good news is that humanity's attention has been redirected back to God. We are seeing prayer meetings in, prayer meetings in China, Europe, Africa. Virtually every content, every continent, every nation in the world is turning back to God. National days of prayer and repentance have been declared all over the world. World leaders are organizing prayer meetings, repentance. And I trust that as the world is turning back to God, that you, my brother, will not be left behind. The silver lining is that God's anger does not last forever. It's only for a moment. A new season is coming. Morning is coming. It may be darkest before dawn, but a new season is coming. The morning season is coming. The uncertainty about our businesses, our employment, our companies. We're not sure how we will feed our families for the next few weeks, perhaps months. Truly, the night season may seem very dark and may even get darker. But the good news is that a new season is drawing nigh in our lives. The God of restoration is changing seasons around. Spring will soon replace winter. Just like Job, God will give you twice as much as you have lost. He will give you double for your trouble. Isaiah 61, 7 says, Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of your disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land and the everlasting joy will be yours. For David, his night season was a period in his life when people were asking him, where is your God? As we see in Psalm 42 verse 3. And perhaps that's the question some people are asking you today because they know you're a believer. They know you pray. They know you go to church regularly and you serve the Lord dutifully. And they are asking, why can't the God you claim to serve help you or change your situation? Perhaps because you're also on unpaid leave. Perhaps because you're going through the same challenges that they're going through. If that is your story, all that ends today. Because you know that though you are in a night season, your morning is coming. Your morning is coming, my friend. Those that have been asking, where is your God, will see the manifestation of your God. Your God will be faithful and his faithfulness will be there for all to see. The goodness of God in your life will be manifested before their very own eyes. And they will see the Lord's doing and it will be marvelous in our eyes. Psalm 118 verse 23. The morning season is a time of joy because it is a time that God visits us and turns things around for our favor. It is a time when God wipes our tears away. It is a time that God will wipe away our tears. But you must be ready to pray until you see your morning season. Joy comes in the morning as God changes the situations and the circumstances of your lives. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, we are told that Jesus, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Indeed, for the joy set before him, just for me, just for you, that you may have life, that you may also enjoy a morning of joy, he saw and visualized the joy set ahead of him and he endured the cross. He endured crucifixion for the morning joy that was set before him. He went through Gethsemane, the place before the cross. The place before the glory. Gethsemane is the place of the cross but the place also before the glory. You cannot afford to give up your Gethsemane because your Gethsemane point is a point before your morning joy, before the crown. The cross will come, but so will the crown. Jesus prayed to the point that he sweat blood. 
you get so many points is a time that we should pray and pray fervently. Indeed, such a time is a time that we should engage in seeking the Lord in, in prayer and in, in fasting. This is a time to seek the face of the Lord. The night season is a time to stay in prayer. It's not a time to panic. It's not a time to be afraid. It's not a time to be discouraged. It's a time to endure the cross knowing that the crown is coming. The morning is coming. For his anger lasts for a moment. But his favor lasts for a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night. Oh, but joy is coming in the morning. Kenya, your season of favor is still ahead. You need not give up because of the challenges that lie ahead. Your season of favor is coming. Joy is coming in the morning. Like our Savior, set your eyes on the joy ahead and you will have the hope to endure the current cross. God has promised in Hebrews 13, 5 that God will never leave us nor forsake us. He has promised even though the night is dark, it will pass. This too will pass and our morning of joy is coming. Our morning will turn into dancing. Amen. Hang in there, folks. Our joy is coming. Our morning is coming. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I want to just commit every believer, every person who's listening and watching this video, that Lord, you would remember them through the dark night that they're going through, that you would come through for them, that Lord, they will hang in there as they seek you, as they trust in you, that they will go through their Gethsemane knowing that, Lord, the crown is coming. They will go through the cross knowing that it will be replaced by the crown. They will go through the night of weeping knowing that the morning of joy and dancing is coming. Lord, bless my listener. Bless my viewer this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you. Be gracious to you. Remember for your ease of worship, our Safaricom pay bill number is 991740. Our church account is Standard Chartered Bank. Westlands Branch, account name is ACK St. Mary's Church, Maine, 010-280-4569900. If you're from St. Martin's Church, our account number is Standard Chartered Bank, Westlands Branch, account name ACK St. Martin's KIA, 10 Four six one two zero zero zero. Remember, our Good Samaritan Pass project is account Equity Bank, Kangemi Branch, ACK St. Mary School, Kabete, 137026 The Lord bless you.